Hey guys, it's Aaron Farmer with Grocery Shop for Free. I'm sorry, this is the Grocery Shop for Free podcast. I'm actually from Grocery Shop for Free at the Mart.com. If you'd like to join me over there, we would love to have you. I'm flying solo today in today in this week's episode. Uh, my lovely co-host is uh, doing something else. And uh, today we're going to talk about how to save money on groceries without coupons. Now, this is a big deal because um, there are many people that just don't like to clip you know, like to clip coupons, and I get that. Uh, it's it's a little time consuming. It's something you have to kind of you know map out a time for, and sometimes you just want to go to the store and shop, and you don't necessarily have coupons, and that's you know I get that. Um, but there are still some ways that you can save money on your groceries and not have to, you know, not have to clip coupons, not have to spend that time and and um, and make that effort. Um, so let's uh, let's dive right in. the f- The first way to the first way to do it. In fact, I should have numbered these. Let's see how many we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, that worked out really well. So the first uh, thing that we're going to look at is. To use those smartphone apps, they they are everywhere. There's a there's a lot of them. They're easy to use, and uh, all you have to do is kind of flip through them and see if there's anything in there that you know that you're already going to buy. And if there is, once you buy it, you upload your receipt to the app and you get money back. It's very easy. Uh, I use it every week, and um, it's you know it's a great way to to save. You know, it's a very easy way to save money, and it's all right there on your phone. You don't have to do anything. If you don't have any of these smartphone apps, you don't really know what I'm talking about, go over to groceryshopforfree.com slash apps, A-P-P-S, and you'll be able to see there's a list of, like, 11 different ones that you can use. Um, also, it was just announced this week that those of you that have Snap by Groupon, um, that use that, uh, you need to get your any money that you've accumulated out of it because they're getting out of the, uh, you know, the upload your receipt game, and they're just going to make it basically, it sounds like just a Groupon app uh, with Groupon deals. And so any money that you have in the in the app that you've accumulated are just going to turn into Groupon bucks. I, I don't really know what Groupon bucks are, but if you've got cash in there you want to get out, get it out. be a good idea. So first up, you know, use those smartphone apps. They're quick, they're easy, and uh, it's, it's a wonderful way to save money, especially – on things that you wouldn't expect to be able to save money on, like eggs and produce, and a lot of times meat. There are some really good deals. In fact, uh, Ibotta has a has a rebate this week for a lamb, uh, which I've never bought. But uh, there it is. If I wanted to buy some lamb, it's it's there, and I can I can uh, get a rebate back on it. Um, next up. Uh, another quick tip is don't pay the grocery store to do your kitchen work. Uh, what I mean by that is don't pay the grocery store to shred your carrots because it's usually more expensive. Buy whole carrots and shred them yourself. Don't pay the grocery store to shred your cheese. Don't pay the grocery store to cut the celery. Uh, and and all the, uh, all you know, I see my daughter-in-law, sometimes she'll, she'll come home with a little, like, it's like a little jar of already cut up celery and water. Well, um, it's the same price as a big package of celery. Uh, but it's probably about a third as much celery. It's probably about a third as much food that you're buying. Um, so if there's any way that you can, you know, buy the whole stuff and just do the work yourself at home, uh, you're probably going to be saving money. Um, another another one is um, Dole will sell these little. Uh, they're about this big. Um, I'm holding my fingers about three inches apart, but they're like little jars of cut fruit, uh, like pineapple and watermelon. Uh, and they're the same price as a whole watermelon or a whole pineapple. Uh, buy the whole stuff, and uh, you know that way you can feed uh, you can feed a whole bunch of people. Um, so next up, check the unit prices. Now this is one re- one of the reasons I really like shopping at Walmart. Uh, but I think most I think most grocery stores do this now. So actually, on the uh, the the um, little price tag that's on the that's on the uh, shelf when you're at the store it'll give you a breakdown of the price per ounce or the price per unit or you know whatever that is um, and just check it out uh, sometimes the one that seems less expensive on the shelf when you look at the the price per ounce it's it's really not because it's a smaller jar or smaller can or something so make sure that you're taking a look at those price per price per units and uh, just check them out see what's there um, Sorry, somebody was trying to call in. The uh, 
the next way to do it is to uh, don't just shop at eye level, and that's you. You got you have kind of a it's kind of a natural inclination, and the supermarkets know this, so they put usually they, they will put the more expensive food right at eye level, right at a you know between the five and six foot mark on the shelf, and so you're going down and you're kind of just looking at that, and those are usually the items that have more. Um, the more uh, the more markup basically the more profit margin for the store and they'll put the cheaper stuff usually you know down on the bottom shelf or maybe way up high um, a real good example of that is the uh, uh, the pasta sauce like the jars of pasta sauce are sometimes as much as two dollars but if you look down on the bottom shelf they usually have cans of I think it's usually hunts or something uh, that are much cheaper like a dollar a can um, that, uh, you know, it's, it's still pasta sauce. Now, unfortunately, that pasta sauce is about 40% sugar, so I can't eat any of it anymore. But it gives you an example of, <clears throat> of how supermarkets will put the cheaper stuff down below where, uh, where it's difficult to, uh, you know, where it's just not natural for you to look. You're usually just kind of naturally looking at eye level. Um, so we've got use smartphone apps, don't pay the grocery store to do your kitchen work, check unit prices, don't shop at eye level. And number five is going to be buy in bulk when you can. Sometimes, it, you know, a lot of times it's cheaper um, to buy, you know, the three pack of toilet, uh, toilet paper, the three pack of, of toothpaste than it is to buy uh, the one uh, the one tube or to buy the 24 pack of toilet paper instead of the, uh, you know, the four pack. So especially, you know, this is, this is a good, another good example of why it's good to, to look at the unit prices. So check out those unit prices. And usually on most items, it's cheaper to buy, to buy those items in bulk. The one place that this, a lot of times this isn't true is on the produce aisle, which is kind of weird, I know, but it's usually cheaper to buy the individual units of things rather than buy uh, the bag stuff. So it's usually cheaper to buy the individual units of avocados, especially. I don't, for some reason, that's, that always seems to be the, the biggest thing. At my store, you know, avocados are about 50 cents each, but then you can buy a six pack for like four fifty. Um, you know, in a, in a little green mesh bag, which I've, I've never really understood the pricing on that, but that is something you need to look at. So for most of the store, buy in bulk, uh, produce out, check it out. It's, it's probably better to, to not buy in bulk. Um, next way is just to buy the store brand. Um, that's what the store brand exists for. They want you they want to give you a better option. And yeah, it does make the store more money, but they make the store more money because they're not paying the, the name brand manufacturer. So you're actually, um, uh, you know, so you're actually spending less on an item when you buy the store brand, usually. In fact, the store brand, the price of the store brand is how we can tell if a deal is good. Um, so if you've got coupons for something or, a, you know, a smartphone rebate or some, you know, however you're wanting to pay for something, and the price after all those discounts is not is still more than the store brand item, it's not a good deal. And you're better off just buying the store brand. Unless you're just brand specific for, you know, for certain things. Um, and, uh, you know, that's just something that you need to, you know, you need to have in your own head. Like if I'm buying rice, I could care less the name of the, you know, the name of the, the brand name of the rice. I could buy the store brand. I could buy, um, you know, Uncle Ben's. It doesn't make any difference. It's still rice. But if I buy soft drinks, I don't want the store brand Coca-Cola. <laughs> you know, I want to, I want real Coca-Cola because I can taste the difference. Um, so if I've got a great deal on rice, I'm going to buy, you know, the cheapest thing, I, you know, cheapest deal of rice I can get. But I don't really care about good deals on uh, on soft drinks because I'm brand loyal to Coca-Cola. So that's what you kind of have to have in your own head is what you're brand loyal to. And all the things that you're not brand loyal to, just you know, just buy the cheapest one on the shelf. Uh, cereal is another example. When I was a kid, I was brand loyal. Like I wanted the Lucky Charms or whatever. But, you know, you get a little older and the cheap bag stuff is just as good. And it's a lot cheaper. Um, so next up, another way that you can save money on your groceries is to meal plan. Know what you need to buy. I say meal plan, but also make a shopping list. Let me, let me put that on here too. Uh, make a shopping list and meal plan, but both of these are the same, basically the same tip because you just need to know what it is that you're going to buy before you walk in the store. You know, what, what is it you need? Do you need, you know, what, what are the ingredients that you need? In fact, it, it, it really bothers me <laughs> when, uh, when I have to throw food away 
uh, because it means I didn't do a very good job of meal planning. I didn't do a very good job of using what I uh, what I bought. In fact, last night I had to throw away a, was a half a package of fresh rosemary and uh, like three garlic cloves that I never got a chance to use. And it wasn't much money, but still I should have made some kind of a meal plan that would have used, you know, that would have incorporated those items. And it would have been easy to do. I just didn't do it. Um, so it was wasted food. So, so you know, before you walk in the store, have a plan of attack. Know what it is that you're going to buy and know what it is that you need to be able to make your food for the week or for two weeks, however often you're buying. It's very frustrating to get into the middle of a recipe and realize that you're missing that one ingredient that you really need to make to make the uh, – you know, to make that recipe work and you've got to run to the store and now you're wasting time, you're wasting money, and it all could have been avoided if you had just thought about the meals that you're going to plan before you head to the store and then make a shopping list and make sure that you get everything on the shopping list. It's going to save you time, it's going to save you money, it's going to save you energy, and uh, ultimately it's going to, you know, it's just going to make your life easier. Uh, so number eight, stock up on great deals. So when there's a really, really, really good deal on something, Whatever that is, like the store is putting toilet paper on sale for an insane price or pasta sauce or whatever. Uh, a lot of times my stores uh, will put will put meat on sale. So they'll put meat on sale for like 20 or 30% less than what it normally is. When those prices hit, buy as much of it as you can. Um, this is why we have a chest freezer because when we want to stock up, we want to get as much as we can and we want to throw it in that freezer and just use it over the course of the month as we, uh, as we go. Um, but, uh, so when you see a really, really, really fantastic deal in something, get as much of it you can try to get three to six, a three to six month supply. And it's, it's nice. In fact, uh, I think in, I want to say in November, there was a rash of just fantastic deals on coffee um, from from November all the like almost through December, and uh, so now what is it? It's the middle of Jan uh, middle of February. My wife and I both use coffee every day, and we have yet to have to buy more coffee. Uh, in fact, I was looking today; we still got like six or seven packages of coffee that we haven't even we haven't even opened yet. There was just so much available at the time that we bought it all. And so that's nice. I bought it at a dirt cheap price. Uh, I bought enough for it's probably about a six month supply. And now it's just not something I have to worry about until the next time it goes on sale. And then the next time it goes on sale, I'll probably stock up again. So that's what uh, that's what you want to do. You want to look for those really, really good, really, really good sales and then stock up. Next up, um, price match. If you shop it at, uh, at Walmart, you can price match other stores. Now, since we're talking about saving the, you know, the time that it takes to clip coupons, the people that, <laughs> the people that don't want to clip coupons are also normally the people that don't want to price match. That's okay because Walmart actually has a fantastic service called Savings Catcher. Um, if you go to, to Walmart and you shop at Walmart, um, before you leave the store, Pull out your smartphone, open up the Walmart app, and zap the um, the barcode on your receipt, and uh, that will enter it into Walmart Savings Catcher. And what it does is, if anyone in the area has something that you bought on sale for less than what Walmart uh, Walmart's price was, you'll actually get that money refunded to you, and you get it refunded in the form of a Walmart gift card that you can use on you know next purchase, or you can just let it accumulate over time. I mean, I've gotten, I was looking the other day, I've probably gotten about $150 back using Savings Catcher since it debuted a year and a half ago, something like that, maybe two years ago, It's and it's probably about a year and a half now. Um, but I've gotten tons. Uh, that's a lot of money that I've gotten back from them. And in fact, uh, I think we used about a hundred bucks on Christmas last year. We were able to pull it out for that. So uh, use that savings catcher. If you shop at Walmart, that savings catcher really needs to be used every single time you go to the store because it's free money, basically. You know, it's just money that, that comes back to you. So make sure you do that. Um, and then my last tip is protein is expensive. Uh, the meat's expensive. Chicken's expensive. Well, not chicken's less expensive, but beef is especially expensive. So try to substitute other things for your protein. Um, one example is the other night I had some ground chicken, 
And uh, I wanted to make ground chicken patties, uh, which are like fried balls of ground chicken, basically. Uh, it wasn't quite enough to feed the people that I needed to feed. Um, so I had some mushrooms. I was able to take the mushrooms out and chop them really, really finely, mix them in with the, uh, with the, uh, with the ground chicken and make some really delicious uh, ground chicken patties. And, you know, nobody knew the difference. It was the same texture, pretty much the same flavor as, as the chicken, and uh, it was great. So, and there are always ways to make that protein stretch to, you know, to use your, uh, to use other items and kind of hide items in there. Uh, if you eat carbs, I don't need a whole lot of carbs, but uh, if you eat carbs, rice is always a great way to, uh, to make it stretch. Um, beans are always a great way to, in fact, beans have protein a lot of times. So you can make, uh, you can make your protein stretch by using beans because beans are cheap. Um, so there are lots of ways. <clears throat> there are lots of ways to uh, to be able to save money on groceries, even if you don't use coupons. Now, if you want to save the maximum amount of money, clip some coupons. I mean, there's all kinds of great deals on coupons every week. Uh, clip, you know, clip them, print them out. But if you just don't have the time, or you don't think you have the time, you don't want to. There, are, there are ways to still save money on your groceries and not have to use coupons. And so hopefully you see that now. Um, speaking of coupons, I did want to mention one thing. Uh, if you, uh, if you uh, haven't read, in fact, I'm sorry, before I get into that, let me reread the, the list of 10 just so, just so you have it all in your head. Number one, use smartphone apps. Number two, don't pay the grocery store to do your kitchen work. Number three, check the unit prices on what you're buying. Number four, don't just shop at eye level. Number five, buy in bulk. Number six, buy the store brand. Number seven, meal plan and make a shopping list. Number eight, stock up on great deals. Number nine, price match and use savings catcher. And number 10, protein is expensive. Substitute other things. So those are your 10, 10 ways to save money on groceries without coupons. Um, so moving on, couponsinthenews.com, which is a fantastic blog. I love it. But they had a, store, uh, a story this week about an Ohio, uh, two Ohio women who committed coupon fraud. And so the reason I bring this up is uh, the kind of the assumption in the, in the couponing world among certain people is that coupon fraud is a victimless crime, that you can you know, use, misuse coupons as much as you want, uh, lie to the cashier to get bad price matches, and nothing will ever happen. It's no big deal. But as we've seen over the last couple of years, we've seen several people go to jail because of coupon fraud because they're not, they're not doing couponing correctly. Um, and so just yesterday, couponsinthenews.com had a story uh, detailing how two more women went to jail, a Walmart cashier and a, a Walmart shopper. They worked together to defraud Walmart of about $4,000 with bad coupon deals and bad price matches. And they, um, I think, actually, I think just one of them went to jail. It looks like the other one got, got you know probation a bunch of you know other stuff fines that kind of thing but coupon fraud's a real thing um you you know use the coupons the way that it says to use the coupons um price match real deals don't uh, don't try to you know don't try to defraud walmart because they're watching and they're pretty good about what they do um in fact i think it was about two weeks ago three weeks ago that it was kind of brought to light that target has a very large building um, <laughs> that is their uh, loss prevention headquarters, and they have video feeds in there, and uh, they they take loss prevention very seriously. And uh, you can you can just Google you know target loss prevention to see the story, but uh, they uh, boy they they'll hunt you down. Uh, there were several stories of them you know flying people in to work with local police and uh, in order to get chronic shoplifters or, or chronic, uh, you know, so however they were, however they were, you know, losing money uh, to, to get those, to get those people arrested, get them thrown in jail and, and get the, you know, the, the full force of the law on them. So it was, it, it was an amazing article. Um, but, you know, stores, they, uh, they take loss prevention pretty seriously, so be careful. Uh, and not, I, I say don't be careful. It's not a matter of being careful. If you're doing the right thing, no one's ever going to bother you. But if you're one of these couponers that are trying to beat the system and use, uh, you know, the big the big coupon a couple weeks ago was the Crest. There was a $7 Crest coupon for white strips that would work on 
things that weren't crest white strips and people were getting all, all kinds of stuff for free. If you're one of the people that does that as a matter of course, you know, people are watching Walmart's watching targets watching and, uh, they're going to, they're going to come for you if you do it long enough and, and long enough and, uh, and, uh, and defraud them of enough money. It's going to be a bad deal for you, which I, I love. I mean, I, I think that's great. I, I hope that anyone that uses coupons incorrectly gets, uh, gets busted because I, I hate it when that happens. All right, so let's move on to the best deals of the week. There's uh, there's only a few. There weren't very many good coupons that came out last week. Uh, there's actually not very many good coupons that are coming out this weekend, which kind of sucks, but man, what are you going to do? Um, Hopefully the uh, the better coupons will be coming out shortly, uh, maybe in maybe in March. Usually it ramps up as you get into the summer, so we may have a few weeks of bad uh, of bad coupons, and then it'll it'll come up. Hopefully, hopefully that's what we want to see. So so a couple good deals to uh, thank you, whoever's giving me all those hearts or whatever they are claps. Um, so a couple deals that you can look at is Albertsons. Albertsons has hamburger helper on sale this week for a dollar. Um, a dollar a box, and these are normally about a dollar fifty at Walmart. So a dollar box is a good deal. And there are several. Uh, there's a there's eighty cents off for printable coupons that you can get from several different locations. Uh, there's an eighty cent off for Saving Star rebate that you can get. Uh, so it makes them sixty cents a box. Um, so 66, 60 cents a box for hamburger helper is about is less than half of what you would normally pay. So that's a really good deal. Progresso soup normally about a dollar fifty a can. Uh, well, Albertsons has them on sale this week for a dollar a can, and there's a dollar of three coupons, so it makes them 67 cents a can of Progresso soup. If you can, you know, if you have an Albertsons near you, you can shop there, or you can price match at Walmart and uh, get some really good deals on Progresso soup. Um, I wish that I was more excited about this deal, but I mean, it's February and it's 80 degrees outside. Um, it has been so warm. Nobody here has really wanted to think about soup. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a bad, that's a shame because I love soup. I love chili. I love the cold weather because of the kind of the warm foods we get to eat. And we haven't really had a chance to do any of that this year because I don't think it's ever really fallen below 60. Um, so Kroger, let's take a look at Kroger. Kroger has a fantastic deal on General Mills cereal, 9 to 13 ounce. Uh, they have them on for $1.49 a box. Plus, there are tons of 50 cent off coupons and several uh, saving star rebates for 50 cents off of uh, certain types of General Mills cereal. So you can get General Mills cereal for, for 49 cents a box uh, by price matching Kroger or by going to Kroger. Uh, so awesome, awesome deals. They also have all laundry detergent, the 32 to 50 uh, use or load bottles uh, for $2.99 a bottle, which normally they're about $5 a bottle. So that, that'll save you $2. There's not any all laundry coupons right now, but you know, who knows what, uh, what tomorrow will bring. If so if there's a, if there's an all laundry coupon that comes out and make it even better. Safeway. The only really good deal at Safeway that I saw was they have their bags of Fritos and Cheetos on sale three for $5. So $1.66 uh, a bag. Um, so, I mean, like I said, it's not, that's not, that's not a fantastic deal, but hey, if you like Fritos and Cheetos, it's, you know, it's a good deal. Um, so that's it. Those are the best deals of the week. Um, if you do not know how to coupon and you would like to learn how to coupon, we have an ebook for you. Go to grocery shop for free at the mart.com slash ebook and you can pick it up there. There's uh, lots of it's called the 21 day grocery budget boot camp and it walks you through couponing, walks you through price matching, walks you through meal planning, walks you through creating a shopping list, it walks you through everything that you need to know to be able to cut your groceries down as, as cheap as you can get. So that's what we uh, that's what we'd like for you to do. If um, you would like to see my sugar-free journey, which my sugar-free journey is uh, is another blog that I run. It's just me, how I'm working to cut sugar out of my diet, sugar and grains and carbs and and uh, all the, the weight that I've been losing as a result of that. If you'd like to check that out, go to mysugarfreejourney.com. We'd love for you to have them. Over there this morning was the my meal plan for the week. Um, every week I put out a meal plan. I use uh, what's on sale each week uh, to kind of create a, a, a meal plan with rest, with recipes that don't use any sugar. So if you like that, I'd love to see you over there, mysugarfreejourney.com. And if you would like to see the show notes with links to everything that I've talked about today and uh, the notes of everything that uh, we talked about the first part of the podcast, go to grocershopforfree.com slash podcast and everything will be there. Um, 
And please subscribe to us on iTunes and Stitcher, grocershopforfree.com slash iTunes and slash Stitcher. That is everything. We appreciate you guys uh, for listening. And those of you, Aaron Adamson, for <laughs> for joining us on uh, uh, here on Blab and who is the Sousa Chief 300 GB, both of you, we love having you. Thanks for watching, and we will talk to you guys next week. Bye-bye.